watching New GHTV. Welcome back to Urban Grind TV. And standing next to me is royalty here in Chicago. I'm John Daniel, your host, and this is my Uncle George Daniels. I don't know if you can see the family resemblance. Oh, yeah. Uh, no lips, see? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a legend here in the city. The music room, from I see you everywhere I go. Tell people out there who you are, what you're doing out there. Well, I'm you know, George Daniels, uh, the founder, the owner of George's Music Room uh, that I started in 1969 on Roosevelt Road uh, on the west side, of course. And uh, now we're presently in Midway Airport in Concourse B. So very fortunate to have that location because when we look at what has happened in the last 15 years to the music industry, uh, music stores are really extinct, especially in the uh, urban community. So uh, it was a blessing that Mayor Daly reached out to me and gave me the opportunity to open up at Midway. And then uh, my wife and I, we have Daniels Entertainment Group, which is a publicity company and what have you, that she runs. And I do odd jobs and uh, I go to all the conventions and stuff. I go to the award shows and I get around. Actually, I just got back. I, uh, Ice Cube uh, invited me and flew me out for the premiere of uh, Straight Outta Compton. And so that was pretty cool. So Nice, nice. You know everyone in the industry. Tell us about some of your favorite, well, big names and who you like working with the most. Well, of course, Chicago's own R. Kelly. He was phenomenal. He is phenomenal. Uh, I mean, the list goes on uh, uh, from Crucial Conflict here, Do or Die. They were, they were raised around my store. So they got a chance to meet many of the artists that they know now personally right there, George. is from Twister, Common. Uh, so from a local standpoint, I've always been one to support our local artists, and even at the store at Midway, I have a section where I have my local hip hop artists uh, in stock at all times. And so, uh, and I still, you know, make an effort uh, for whoever has really good talent. And I'll uh, make a few calls every now and then, you know, for some friends of mine. <laughs> You're the guest of honor here today at the Global Mix. So tell me a little bit about that experience and uh, your role so far here. Well, you know, it's. It's a wonderful thing that Mary Datcher is doing. That this is her ninth year, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, but she gets the example from all of the music conferences that doesn't exist anymore, especially for the urban market. Uh, years ago, there was Jack the Rapper, BRE, Urban Network, Impact. Uh, here in Chicago, we had the Midwest Radio and Music Conference. Then there was the Southeast Music Conference. So these were the types of uh, conferences that gave, especially young artists, a chance to intermingle. Uh, great collaborations have come out of those types of co conferences and this is where they used to introduce new artists to the industry. I mean I met from the beginning boys to men from Queen Latifah all of them at these music conferences so uh, I'm so honored and grateful that Mary has continued it on maybe not at that scale because the support system was different then than it is today. In those days you had the pop division and the urban division and so you had a senior VP of Urban at all the major uh, distribution houses, and they had a big budget. And so they would support these conventions with big checks and big artists, and uh, which made them very popular. And you went there, and you literally learned. You know, you spent a few hundred bucks for registration, and if you came with one, came back with one idea that paid off, it was worth the time. And so with Mary doing this, and I'm so proud of her because in the 90s, Mary worked for me at George's. And she helped me create a retail organization called the National United Independent Retailers, where I was a spokesperson for over 30,000 black record stores here in America. So it was pretty cool. Wow. Mary's, Mary's a champ. That's amazing. <laughs> That's good. For anyone out there who's trying to make a name, trying to come up, what advice do you have for them? Uh, be committed to what you want to do. Don't be influenced by your little Waynes and everybody you're looking up to. Have your own style and be committed. Sing one style of music or rap one style way and create a signature for yourself. I want to know who you are the first time I hear you and the last time I heard you. The one thing that I find today, especially in hip hop, everybody sound like Drake. You, you agree, don't you? <laughs> but they do. And so it's a thing when you're not taught, again, when the industry stopped doing artist development, and so, you know, you, you're usually taught to be an individual. You're taught how to communicate all the different skills. If you're going to be a professional at it, learn the game. Get your social media tightened up. Get media training so you can communicate. 
There's all kinds of things that are necessary. And see, that's one of the things that I do do, consulting for artist development. So they can really get a sense. You may not be ready for it. You may not want to do it once you realize the responsibility behind it. Uh, people wanted to find out more information about you, wanted to check out the music shop. Uh, where can they hit you up? Where can they find you? At Midway Airport, when you're flying out. So don't bother me any other time. So. <laughs> <laughs> I get this all the time. But no, uh, you can find me on Facebook and Twitter and stuff like that and Instagram. I ain't hard to find. No, definitely. But, but come with good questions and possibly a check, okay? Stuff ain't free. You know? No, Man. seriously. Another good advice. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for joining us oh, here. Once again, I'm John Daniel. This is my Uncle George Daniels. And you're watching Urban Grind. <laughs>